Hello and welcome to another episode of Beer Man's Noble Beer Reviews. Um, today I have another beer from a High Branch Brewing Company out of uh, Concord, North Carolina. Uh, this beer is called Dislocated. Uh, I don't know if you can see there, it says uh, Hazy IPA. And it is uh, 6.8 ABV. Sometimes they put on their cans what um, what hops are in their IPA. Sometimes they don't. This one doesn't uh, doesn't have it. So I'm gonna go into this one. Um, make sure I didn't miss anything. Yeah, I don't see anything. Um, go into this one a little blind, but that's fine. Uh, and I haven't had uh, just a regular IPA from these guys in a little while now, so I'm kind of excited. Because generally they do a uh, pretty good job, and it seems like they um, they changed their canning line too. Because they used to, uh, as far as I know, they used to uh, basically hand can all of their cans, so it was basically just doing like a 16 ounce crowler, and that's why the beer would gush out of the top of it because it was filled so high. But recently they haven't um, been doing that; more like a normal can fill, but. As you can see, it pours a, uh, a pretty cloudy, um, pretty hazy orange color with uh, about a half a finger's worth of fluffy white head. <clears throat> this is a little darker than most of their um, hazy IPAs, which is interesting. It worried me for a second. Uh, I was thinking that it might have been um, oxid or not oxidized. Um, well, yeah, oxidized. And... Uh, which would have reintroduced fermentation. There might have been some, uh, some uh, diacetyl in it, but I'm not smelling that in the aroma, so that's definitely a good thing. Um, <clears throat> so there's there's a good bit of uh, peach character. There's definitely some like fresh uh, like hot pellet notes. A little bit of a uh, like piney, earthy character. Sets most of it. Wow. It's really not what I was expecting, given the aroma. Uh, it's still really good, but. Um, it's not uh, nearly as uh, juicy as I was getting from the aroma. It's definitely a little more resinous, uh, a little sweet. And there's also like a little bit of like a chalky character to it too, which is kind of weird. Um, I do get a little bit of, uh, like I said, it, it is a little sweet. I get a little candied orange. Um, there's also like a, a kiwi flavor, which is interesting. I usually don't get that from my uh, IPAs, but I am getting like a kiwi and a kiwi and like a cantaloupe character. I mean, cantaloupe is more common. You get a uh, melon character sometimes with oxidation. It was definitely um, like orangey and piney up front, and then I kind of falls into that uh, kiwi character. It's actually pretty good. It's 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 pretty complex. Um, you know, maybe I, I just um, I'm just focusing on the color of it because it looks a little like like muddy water. Uh, but you know, just the color doesn't obviously doesn't uh, necessarily depict the quality of it. Um, but I just thought when I poured it, I was hope, I was afraid it was going to be oxidized or something. But it's not. Uh, it's um, very uh, orangey and um, piney. There is a little bit of like a tropical peach character and. Like I said, I'm picking up that kiwi in the aftertaste, which is pretty cool because I generally don't get that from an IPA.
yeah, this is um, this is really nice. It's kind of a an old school, new school blend of hops, at least from what my palate is picking up. Um, and that's what, that's what I really like about these guys. Uh, he really does do a good mashup of different types of different blends of hops and. You know, a lot of, there are a lot of, uh, like, big IPA brewers that are, people say, well, yeah, I think they're great, but a lot of them are similar, but their IPAs, they're all very distinct. Uh, that is one thing that I will give High Branch credit for. Um, and then, I mean, they all, they're all generally really good, too, but they're all pretty, pretty distinct. Like, I have one, and then I have, you know, it might be a month until I have another one, and Excuse me. The hop profile is usually not very similar to the one I had before. So, I mean, he's definitely doing it right where it's not... He's not overloading it where it all just tastes like... Just like the bitter hop plant material. I mean, he's really getting the true essence of the hops that he's using in the beer. And I, I think that's really important, you know. I For the masses, it might not be because people would just line up if you try to treat it like a, a rare release type thing anyways but um if you really want to get people into trying like you, different if you're making a bunch of different ipas and you, you want to get people into trying each one separately i mean that's what you got to do you got to have different you got to differentiate between them and not have all of them have like the same house character and i think tj to, uh, has been doing a really good job with that. They've all been, um, at least from my opinion, they've all been pretty uh, different and unique in their in the uh, hop profile. So that uh, that's something to be said with today's IPAs because a lot of them are really similar. So I give them credit for that. Um, I I don't remember what this cost. I think it was like seventeen bucks for a four pack, which I, I would definitely buy this again for that price. Um, I don't think it's the best IPA that they've made, but that doesn't mean it's not good and, you know, they're obviously not pumping out the same ones all the time. Uh, but if I, you know, if this was at a bar, I would happily buy a pint of this. So, I would, you know, there would be reasons that I would buy this again. Um, yeah. Yeah. This is really, yeah. This, this is, sorry, I don't know why I said sorry, but just to go back to it, it this really is a mashup of uh, new school and old school uh, hops and IPA because it has a really nice bitterness to it. Um, it actually, it's interesting because the body is like really soft, but it also has like a, a almost close to a West Coast IPA bitterness. But it's also super juicy at the same time, but it's also dry. Um, it really is a nice mix of all those different things. So um, I, I think he did a really good job with this. And I'm actually really intrigued. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to do some more research to see what hops are in this. I would like to know because I I really like this combination. It's it's nice. So. I think that's all I got in this one. Um, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. And I look forward to doing the next one. Thanks.